والله يدعو إلى دار السلام ويهدي من يشاء إلى صراط مستقيم إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبد الله ورسوله Brothers and sisters in Islam السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته We talked about your number one goal in this dunya should be Jannah. And last episode, we talked about the one thing that will guarantee you Jannah is that you die as a Muslim. Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu attaqu allaha haqqa tuqatihi wa la tamutunna illa wa antum muslimun. Don't you dare die as a Muslim. How can you do that? You don't know when you will die. The angel of death comes to you by all the sudden. Now, the only guarantee that you may have in order to die as a Muslim is that you continue becoming a Muslim 24-7. So that the angel of death comes to take your soul, he finds you a Muslim. Brothers and sisters in Islam, we said that is why the Prophet wasallam asked us to help the deceased to say the kalima, the word that takes you from kufr to Islam. La ilaha illallah at the time of death. Fi Sunan at tirmidhi min hadith Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiyallahu anhu, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, laqinu mawtakum la ilaha illallah. And whoever whose last words in this dunya is la ilaha illallah will enter Jannah, insha'Allah. Brothers and sisters in Islam, we finished with the statement of Ibn Kathir, the author of the tafsir, rahimahullah, who said, Man asha ala shay'in mata alay, wa man mata ala shay'in bu'itha alay. A lot of Muslims think that they can do whatever they want to do. At the time of death, all they have to say is La ilaha illallah and then they will enter Jannah. Akhi, sister, brother, no. You must have lived La ilaha illallah. You must have implemented La ilaha illallah through your, throughout your lives. Are you implementing La ilaha illallah right now? Or are you? Are you or are you not? You know? If you are consumed with this dunya, you're going to die doing what you are consumed with. But if you are living la ilaha illallah, as soon as they ask you to say la ilaha illallah, it will be so easy on the tongue. يُثَبِّتُ اللَّهُ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا بِالْقَوْلِ الثَّابِتِ فِي الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا وَفِي الْآخِرَةِ وَيُضِلُّ اللَّهُ الظَّالِمِينَ وَيَفْعَلُ اللَّهُ مَا يَشَاءُ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will grant you steadfastness at the time of death to say la ilaha illallah. Brothers and sisters in Islam, Am kuntum shuhada id hadara Ya'qub al-mawt? Were you witnesses when Ya'qub, Jacob, the son of Isaac, the son of Ibrahim, alayhum salam death came to him. Id qala li banihi ma ta'buduna min ba'di. He told his children, who do you take as a god, as who do you worship after me? قَالُوا نَعْبُدُ إِلَاهَكَ وَإِلَاهَ آبَائِكَ إِبْرَاهِيمَ وَإِسْمَاعِيلَ وَإِسْحَاقِ إِلَاهَ وَاحِدًا وَنَحْنُ لَهُ مُسْلِمُونَ We will worship your Lord, the Lord of Ibrahim, the Lord of Ishaq, the Lord of Ismail. It is one Ilah, one God, Allah, لا إله إلا هو, and we will submit to him. This is the condition of Jacob. Subhanallah, at the time of death, making sure that his children are going to die as Muslims. Ibrahim alayhi salam, وَوَصَّى بِهَا إِبْرَاهِيمُ بَنِيهِ وَيَعْقُوبُ Ibrahim alayhi salam left that wasiyah to his children behind him. 
يا بني إن الله اصطفى لكم الدين فلا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون الله سبحانه وتعالى has chosen for you the deen لا إله إلا الله إسلام don't you dare die but as Muslims you know why because they lived their lives for لا إله إلا الله إبراهيم عليه السلام got stripped naked in front of the hell fire in front of the fire because of لا إله إلا الله and that is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will clothe him. The first of creation will be clothed in the day of resurrection because of la ilaha illallah. Fi musnad al-imam Ahmad, hadith Abdullah ibn Amr ibn al-As, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us the wasiyya, the will that Nuh alayhi salam left to his sons. He told them, أُوصِيكُمْ بِلَا إِلَاهَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ I want you to hold fast to La ilaha illallah because if La ilaha illallah is placed in one pan of the scale and the heavens and the earth in the other side, La ilaha illallah will be heavier in the scale than them. Brothers and sisters in Islam, if you want to say La ilaha illallah at the time of death, you better live La ilaha illallah and you better be truthful about it. Brothers and sisters, we know people from our time, from our lifetime, who requested music to be played for them at the time of death. You know why? Because they lived all their lives listening to music. We know that some of them wanted money to count at the time of their death. Real stories. And we know some who died as callers to the Adam. And we know some who died in prostration while they're making sujood. A story that I share with you. And subhanAllah, I heard that story from one of the shaykhs. A person from Hispanic uh, heritage, Spanish, lives in Manhattan, New York. And one day, he entered into one of the masjids and he asked the people there, how can I become like you? How can I become a follower of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam? I'm Christian. The people said, the imam of the masjid told him, all you have to do, take a path, take a bath and come back and utter the word, the kalima, la ilaha illallah, Muhammad rasulullah, and then you become a Muslim. He did. And you know what he asked them? He told them, can I stay for a couple of days in the masjid with you in order to learn how to pray? The people who visit the masjid saw this new revert to Islam, so devoted to the deen. He's praying all the time, learning the Quran, trying to perfect his salah. So one of the people there approached him and he asked him, why are you doing this? You're doing more than us. Here we are. And here you are doing all of this and you're just two days old Muslim. He told him, I'll tell you my story. For years, I wake up at night weeping, crying, asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide me to the true deen, to the true religion that I can worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala according to. And one of these nights, I broke down as I'm crying and weeping. I fall down in the ground and I saw in my dream, Isa, Jesus, peace be upon him, coming to me and he's asking me to go and follow Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And that is why I'm here with you. The following day, after this newly revert to Islam, shared his story with one of the people in the masjid, in Salatul Maghrib, as the salah is progressing. In the first rak'ah, he went down making sujood, and he did not move. Of course, the rest of the congregation went on praying, thinking that he decided to just prolong his sujood. And after the salah is done, they touch him and they found him dead. Just two days 
brothers and sisters in Islam. He became a Muslim and he died after two days. You know why? Because he was so truthful, seeking that word, seeking, looking, researching, searching for that word, La ilaha illallah. And as soon as he got it, he lived it. He lived it. And that is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made him die prostrating. You know what? This person in the day of resurrection will be resurrected prostrating to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Brothers and sisters in Islam, it is a gift to die as a Muslim. Don't take it for granted. All what you have to do, strive, work hard to live as a Muslim. Because I'm telling you, if you do not live it, you will never be able to say it unless Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestows his mercy upon you. Brothers and sisters in Islam, no one can prompt you to say la ilaha illallah than Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam loved his uncle so much and he wanted him to say it. When he entered into his room, when Abu Jahl and Abdullah ibn Abi Rabi'ah were sitting down next to him, and he is asking him, Ya Am, my uncle, I love you. Say La ilaha illallah. Say La ilaha illallah. You know why Abu Talib did not say it? Because he did not live it. He lived for his ancestor. He lived for his tribe. And that is why at the end he said, Huwa, bal huwa ala millati abdil muttalib. No. I will die according to the way of Abdul Muttalib. Under the pressure from Abu Jahl, he decided to die as a kafir. And he refused the offer from the Prophet ﷺ because he did not live La ilaha illallah. Brothers and sisters in Islam, if you want to live La ilaha, if you want to die as a Muslim, and if you want to say La ilaha illallah, at the time of your death, you must live La ilaha illallah. Let's learn how can we live La ilaha illallah in the next episode. Don't miss the next episode. We're going to talk about that word, that precious word, La ilaha illallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.